Hey guys, and welcome to the small group presentation instruction video. So as you guys can see, we're in the small group presentation. The way to get there is English 9, 9th grade unit 6, all the way at the bottom there is red folder. Small group presentation, Tuesday through Friday. Um, step 1 is overview and instructions. So that's where we'll start. This is where you create a slideshow. Um, and you're going to be using the text that we've covered in the last few weeks since writing your essay. So you've read or listened to two magazine articles, three poems, and a radio broadcast that explore how people respond or might respond to catastrophic events. Work with your group to describe, develop a slideshow that addresses this question. What do stories about the future say about the present? So in every slide with every text, you're going to want to be thinking about two pieces of this. What does the story about the future say? What does it say about the future? What's going on in the future? What is that story about? Part two then is what does that say about our present? If a story about the future says that there's going to be an apocalypse and a nuclear war, what does it say about our present? It says that we are heading towards a nuclear war. So you're going to need to be able to analyze what that story is about and what that could say about the present. Because the authors of futuristic stories are living in the present. And that gives them the... Uh, imagination to imagine these features. So keep that in mind. You will want to plan with your group to analyze the text with your group to discuss key ideas and themes from each text. Um, you'll use these steps to list your ideas and as a group you'll discuss your notes about the selections. Then you'll begin your discussion, come to a consensus on what you want to add, and you'll discuss and show these ideas in your slideshow. So step two then is our brainstorm. You're going to analyze each of the three texts that we have covered, and you are going to answer the question, what do stories about the future say about the present for each question? You've got some example stems here. You may not copy my words. You're welcome to use the thoughts in my words, but come up with your own words. And feel free, obviously, to fill in the blanks with your thoughts. Um, when you are done with your brainstorm and you've thought of what does this story say about the present? What does this poetry collection say about the present? What does the world of the world say about the present? Then you post that in the comments below and then you prepare for your presentation by assigning duties in step three. So step three it says who's doing which texts. You, in your group you divide up the texts. There's three texts here you will decide who's going to cover them. If you have four people in your group, you are welcome to break up the poetry collection into separate poems and have each group member pick one of the poems. One person picks the nuclear tourist and one person clicks, sorry, picks the War of the Worlds. If you're only three, that's easy. Each one of you chooses these. You'll have to decide who's choosing what. If you are online or otherwise unable to join a group or work with a partner, you're welcome to work independently, but you're going to have to choose two texts. So the benefit of working in a group is going to be that you only have to cover one text. The downside is you'll be working with other people who have different opinions than you. And also that's kind of a benefit. Um, if you want to work independently, the benefit is you get to choose what you're doing and you don't have to collaborate with someone else. But the downside is you do have two texts and you have to complete them on your own. So you need to choose at least two texts unless you are in a group, and then each one of you can have one text. So that's step three, assigned duties. I finished mine. So step four is actually creating the slideshow. This, you'll need to have a title slide, and at least three slides, because there are three texts. If you're working independently, you then have two texts, which means you need two slides at least, because for each text, you'll need a slide. On that slide, you'll need a title. You're welcome to use the title of the text. You'll also want the text author, and if you haven't already written the title of the text, you'll write it there. You'll want an image that goes with what you're saying. You'll want an answer to the question. This question, of course, is the question we're referring to. And you'll want textual evidence with the page number it came from. So first thing you'll do is organize your ideas, then find the content, improve your use of media, and brush up on your pre presentation techniques so that you're able to present on Friday. And your presentations then is something you will submit 
I'm going to submit it in Google Slides. You got some steps here to do that. Here is your presentation that you access. If you click that, it makes a copy for you. If you have a group member, the first thing you're going to want to do is go into that and share it with them so that you and your group member can work together. Then right now it's divided up into the three different texts that you can cover. You'll be in charge of writing, making the title, including the authors, images, answer, and textual evidence to each of the slides for each of the texts that you have in your assignment. Here's an example. Here's the title and the authors of the slideshow, Future Stories, what they say about the present. Then we have our first text. Of course, I'm not going to use the text that you're using because I don't want to give away all the answers. <laughs> so I use one of our earlier texts. You're welcome to use one of our earlier texts for extra credit, as we'll discuss. Um, here will come Soft Rains by Ray Bradbury. I answered it, the question, um, in two different slides. Bradbury paints a bleak future of robotic homes and nuclear fallout, where the only things alive create their own demise. And I have a quote um, about how the uh, electronic robotic home essentially like allows itself to burn down. And then I explain the rest of the question. I turned it in, Brett. All right, small interruption there. Here will come Soft Rains. The second part uh, talks about how that future reveals the present. So, Bradbury's robots do everything people do, so it seems like he's suggesting that in the present, we're allowing technology to take over our lives. And this suggests that in the present, we can prevent the future from looking like Bradbury's by not becoming lazy and allowing the tech to take over our lives. So, um, that's one take on how you can answer the question using a text. Again, your texts are going to be um, the Nuclear Taurus poems in the Poetry Collection or the War of the Worlds. You can get extra credit for choosing an extra text. You get 10 points per extra text you choose. And then Friday is the um, presentation day where we'll be able to share um, and give feedback to each other on presentation day. So pretty straightforward, pretty simple. And um, that's our week. Feel free to email if you have questions. Let me know what you got.